Welcome, good morning everybody to the seventh Rubismo Cafe Talks. Um, so we have these this Cafe Talks every week. Uh, we've had them uh, already in January. It was uh, Uffe Bungard uh, that was leading on funding and IPR uh, question for, for small uh, enterprises. And today we will have uh, Professor Schiffer presenting one of the Rubismo uh, tool uh, that is actually made for entrepreneurs, uh, but certainly uh, with the help of an advisor or, or someone to, to discuss the different function of, of the tool. So yes, uh, 30 minutes. So we have 15 minutes of presentation, 15 minutes of question. Uh, so with no more delay, I will give the floor to Gerard. Okay, presentation. thank you very much. I'm happy to present the tool because I like it and I hope you like it as well because it's really fantastic. We are in a time where there are so many changes in agriculture, in the food chains, and we provide ideas, we provide models, and people can pick them up and say, I want to try something new. And then I'm now going to try to tell you, I'm trying to share my screen with you, Okay, you can see it. You see, we have here an opening uh, screen with certain menu items, and we very quickly jump into, we just take the first one of them, which says model selection through model canvas. And here you see a screen full of colors and full of different kinds of graphs. We don't look at the left side, keep it out. We just look at the moment at the right side, and there we have all the different type of models put together with small icons so that you can very quickly get a feeling what is in there. And it's a tremendous amount. We have at the moment 35 of those different type of food, food chains that might emerge in the future. And we might be able to uh, increase the number. And when you move around there over the eyes, okay, you get a quick information. You can very quickly move through and see, okay, what is all about? And now in some of them, you see, Ah, I'm pressed. If you press too fast, okay, you get more information. That's very sensitive at the moment. But here, in one of those eyes, there is a blue part in the lower part. Some of them have it. And that allows us to jump into one of those uh, databases we have developed as well. And the Rubismo project is a database of cases. So if one of the models has a case or an example, Okay, this is now an example of a biodiesel production site somewhere. We close it because we are not dealing now with cases, but we are dealing with uh, models, so we can pick it up. And then when you go in there in the eyes, if I press them, I do it here, we get several pages of information. First one, an animating one, so that you are uh, you get some interest in looking deeper into it. So it's one which we call now the food assembly. But then there are follow-up pages where with many links you can use and jump into the internet and uh, look them up. And just in another case, I take the solidary, agri solidary agriculture. I think some of you know it as well. We jump into those extra pages. Again, the animating page, then the page with the links. And then some of you said, okay, there are not enough links. Hello, put more in there. And you know it, it's a Swedish group which puts many, many different links. So as you can see here, with all the links, we can add information more and more. So in, at the moment, it's a tremendous type of database with 35 models and ideas, but behind them, many, many different cases and experiences. But what you can do now is uh, to try to um, cut down the number. If you think, okay, it's too many, I, don't, uh, I cannot manage those 35 examples. You have here a drop-down menu. Maybe you can go to online marketing and all of a sudden you get just a few cases like the food box service, which is one of those services where people package food and send it. Oh, I didn't want to go in there. That uh, was wrong. Wrong part. What did I do here? I think I have to click here. Yeah, now I'm back. 
So that's one of the things, but I can also look at others. For example, at I'm used to use a mouse, now I'm not using a mouse. Farm industry collaboration, you have others. For example, you have the insect farm here. We have uh, uh, others like uh, paper from grass. Uh, this is one of those examples that was one of the bio uh, uh, um, plants uh, which uh, refine a certain ways. So there are many, many different types of uh, issues in there. Another one, which is, I think, quite interesting, is also when you go down to general tourist services, uh, there are things like, I think if you've heard about those things like cuddling with animals, I didn't know it, about it before. It was something that evolved in the Netherlands. And now it's a big, big thing in the United States. So farms hire out their cows. So people are uh, cuddling with cows and you charge them for an hour or whatever. So a lot of information behind there and okay, I can click here again. And then there is this information, a lot of YouTube videos, etc. So not more. Farm life experience, it's a similar one where we can jump to the virtual library, have a, a case here. Come on, come on, virtual library, move. And here you have the case yeah, and then you can go deeper into it. So wherever we have an example that has been evolved out of the project, we put it there so that people can pick it up. People can pick it up. Uh, uh, a last point here, which might be of interest for those who want to use such a tool. We have built in a tool that allows people to put in their own models. I put now one which doesn't look like a farm because I said you have to see that it was the model I have been putting in. So uh, you can put a lot of own models there and say, I don't want your models. I don't want your ideas. I don't like them. I put my own in there. So I put there one and uh, that is now in there. So you can use it as a tool, but you can also go back and say, forget about everything. Now I'm back. Okay. Now the next part we uh, can deal with is that you say, okay, what is about the left side? You say, okay, maybe we press here. And the, all of a sudden, sudden, you see here at the canvas. I don't know if everybody knows what the canvas is. It's a picture which shows different parts of a company. For example, it starts on the left, the suppliers, and at the right, you have the customers. And in between the part, what do you do? What resources do you do? Uh, how do you communicate with customers? So it's a picture of your company. And when you click here and one of those, Okay, it shows which parts of the company are affected if you move to that model. What is different from what you are doing today? So it gives a very quick impression of what you are dealing with. You can also say I'm just interested in, in Dutch ideas where new customer segments are being approached. And when you, when you look to the right, you see that some of those pictures like the marketing here and some others are no longer as uh, colorful as they've been before, because that means they are not applying or approaching new customers. But we can go back and maybe go to this part and click again at one of those uh, models we are interested in. And then you see in the lower part that there are some stars in some of those uh, 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 characteristics. We have said, okay, we put there certain characteristics that are of interest when we develop regions or when they are interested in becoming successful as a business. And you see here, for example, for food assembly, it says the replicability is high. You also have a lot of things. There's a high innovation potential. So it's a rough idea what is behind it. And if people don't understand what it means, there's a lot of text behind all of those things and they can read it. So now let's move forward because it has a second part. The database is beautiful. And there are so much in there. So I think you will like it if you move in there. Now we can, what we can do in addition is that we say we want to, oh, I go to a reset default. I want to go back. We want to select some of them and look more deep into it. So here, select up to four. We will select food assembly and solid agriculture because many people know them. Go to comparison. And then those two are listed here with all the information that is, uh, linked to them, like for example, the digital impact it is there. We don't want to look at it. And then you can look here, you have more information. We just pick up one of them and you see there is some information coming up. 
There is also video you can link, you can make it bigger if you're interested in. So you can read it better, but we don't want to do it. We go out, we can look at the video. Solidarity culture, it's a, uh, okay. It starts here. We're not interested in the video anymore. So we go, go out, we are back. So I close it. I think I have to close down, I close it. And now we can move forward and say, okay, now we get to the, what we call analysis part. I am now an enterprise, I want to move to food assembly. And now we get a list of external and internal requirement that, that if you want to go to food, food, uh, food assembly, you should have some kind of internet connection. There should be some kind of public transport, etc. So uh, these requirements are linked to the models. So each model had a different list and put whatever is there. And somebody told me in the internal requirements, okay, like internet qualification, marketing knowledge, somebody told me you should also put their management capability. Okay, put it there, put it there, no problem. Each model can be linked to whatever requirements we think is appropriate. Then we have a certain weight that we think the noise tolerance is maybe not so important, but it's relevant. For example, if people coming by cars, picking up their food, maybe they need some tolerance. But internet is, is a must. It's so important because otherwise it's difficult. People cannot order. And then you have an idea what those uh, uh, levels here mean. So internet to four, it's a very rough guidance. You need quite a good internet. In the right, you can see one means low speed, five means very high speed. So quite high and then you have a, lift, a different type of listing here. Now, here you put your own, what you think is, is your level, your own enterprise. I put there now just three. We go quickly through because the time is running. And now you see that in some areas we are not as good as expected and in other areas we are better. Where we are better, it's uh, black. Where we are not so good, it is uh, uh, red. And you see here, that's a weighted deficiency, and that's a not weighted. Because we have put there in the second column a weight, how, how important we consider things. And that helps us to identify which parts are really important I have to deal with. And down here, for example, we have uh, different areas like the qualification and up there in the internet. Now, let's see, there is a sign, and this sign says, okay, there needs is a need for actions. Maybe I go down there to internet qualification. What action? It says you should organize training. And then you go to more information and there you can have a lot of information, maybe also linked to training companies or whatsoever. So it helps to really move forward and to find out. And then this part to the right is just a kind of an indication how expensive it would be. Training is quite uh, cheap. Other things maybe are a little bit more, uh, um, uh, how do you say, expensive. Now we close this. I want to move now very quickly. I don't move forward. There's a summary. There are some other areas. We don't go uh, into these into detail, but go back because I want to show you a second part. You Somebody who has really no idea how to get to those models and says, I need some kind of basic help. Then uh, he can say, okay, let's look at this canvas. Where do you have problems? We put there several questions. So maybe I said, okay, I have to know, uh, approach new customers. I said, okay, you should look at models where these parts are really be affected. And then if you say, I have no idea what the canvas is, what is this for a strange issue? You can call up a video and this video is also, okay, let's close it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I have to go back. Um, I went, okay, I closed it. I closed it a little bit too far. So I go to the customer segment and then I say continue. And then I am just at the place where those models that uh, provide some uh, access to new customers or in a different way customers are being approached. These are the models that are being highlighted. If I don't like it, I go back and say, no, I close it. And then I'm back to the whole uh, issue again. 
Now let's go back to uh, the, the menu again. And then that's my last part I would like to uh, um, maybe very quickly link you, uh, link you to. Integration of new models. I have said it's a tool. First, it provides a database. First, it provides an op opportunity to, to link yourself to some models and find very quickly out where are the major deficiencies you might have to deal with. And then the last part, if you really want to use it as a tool, you can use new models, put them in. Then you get to a new pages. I don't into that because you need special rights to do it. Yeah, so we can provide you with the rights. And then you can put your own models with your own requirements, with your own actions, with your own issues that are linked to the uh, models and the link to the canvas. So it's a completely open tool. You can do whatever you want to do with it. So I go out because um, we don't uh, go into this part. And then the other parts are not so important. Okay, if you want to try it out for yourself, go to guide for presenting the presentation to new users because it guides you step by step through uh, 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 the uh, tool the way we have been doing it right now. There's a video. If you think I don't want to try, I just want to listen, go there. So thank you very much. I think that Gabe uh, provided you with an appropriate introduction into a fantastic tool. I like it. Thank you. Thank you.